What's going on everyone, Jassy here. And in the last month, we were able to rank for multiple Google three pack keywords for one of our clients using the strategies that I will show you here today. And I want you to do something similar. Now, are you going to rank right away in the Google three pack? Probably not, but just be consistent and give it a go. So let's see if your business ranks on Google. Open up a new window and go to the Google search bar and type in your service in your city. In this case, it's Electrician Highland Park, California. Or it could be Garage Door Repair Las Vegas or Foundation Repair Austin, or it could be Garage Door Repair near me, as long as you're in your area. I was able to change my location using a Chrome extension because I'm really in Georgia, but we're gonna look at the results exactly where it's showing in Highland Park, California. You're going to notice that Google is going to give you the sponsor ads. Now, I don't know about you, but I normally don't click on the sponsor ads and statistics show that most people avoid the ads because they feel it's paid. They don't feel it's organic. They don't feel they can trust it. And most people go to the businesses and this is the precious three pack. You can see here that we manage this business profile. That's the business that we're going to be showing you today. Well, we're going to show you how we were able to help it rank for a lot of keywords. Now we have also the organic and most people won't go to the organic. Now, um, if you're doing this and you don't see your business here in the Google three pack, pay close attention because we're going to show you how to optimize for some keywords and have a better chance of ranking in this area. But uh, if you don't find your business here, go to right here where it says more businesses and you'll notice that there could be 50 or 60 other businesses, right? That do not rank in the Google three pack. Now, Look at all these businesses here. There could be so many, but you do not want to be stuck down here because if people don't see you, they won't call you. Now, right here, I used to think that Google actually handpicked the businesses for me because you know YouTube knows what music you like, what videos you like, what topics you're interested in, and it kind of keeps giving you that. So that's what I thought that Google would give me the best businesses in the area or the ones that were actually best suited for my needs but no this is actually with uh seo with search engine optimization you can optimize your gmb to make it appear in the google search for multiple keywords specifically in the google three pack all right sounds good so now i'd like for you to go ahead and open up another window in google and type in the name of your business just in the google search bar make sure that you are logged in with the gmail associated with you Google business profile and you will see your business on Google. So for step number one, uh, I like for your profile to be at a strength completely, completely green. Okay. If it's orange, it may need some information right here in your profile. It means that your profile is not completely full. This right here, your profile strength will be completely green. So once your Google, my business profile is fully optimized. But before we fully optimize your Google My Business, let's take a look at some of the top ranking factors in local SEO. The number one ranking factor for Google My Business is having the relevant category. I'll tell you a little story. Years ago, when I was working for another SEO company, we had a client, a chiropractor doctor, that wanted to rank for one term, and that term was lower back pain. What well, we wrote on page, off page, backlinks, articles, posts, uh, you name it. We did all the optimization possible, yet we could not get that client ranked for lower back pain. I decided to do a search in the area and find out what GMBs were ranking for lower back pain. To my surprise, only the GMBs that had the category pain management were able to rank for lower back pain, meaning each keyword is connected to a GMB category. If that keyword is not associated with that GMB category, there's no way you're going to rank for that keyword. Now, in this case, it was pretty simple. Electrician is a GMB category, but for those who are watching and would like to check and make sure that you have the right GMB category, stay tight, because I'm gonna show you how to check the for the best GMB category for your industry. Another really cool way of checking for the best GMB category for your keyword is by using a Chrome extension called GMB Everywhere. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description down below so you can add it to your Chrome browser. Okay, same thing. You start in a, on a Google page and on your Google search bar, you type in your keyword, but now you want to go to Maps. And here in Maps, the extension will give you all of the categories associated with 
with that keyword. So if you're not ranking for the search term and you've done everything, you've done your own page, your off page and your backlinks and your GMB polls, your optimize your products or services, all of the stuff that we're going to be talking about later, and you still can rank, it could be very well that you are not optimized for the right and best GMB category. The Chrome extension will actually give you the, the primary GMB category with a little start. So pain management, medical clinic is if it applies to you or pain control clinic would probably be the best GMB category for this particular keyword. So if this keyword is going to make you money, you definitely want to consider in adding it to, as to your primary or secondary. Now, it doesn't have to be your primary. Your primary can be chiropractor if that's who you are. But make sure that this is one of your secondary GMB categories. All right. And finally, my best way of checking for GMB categories is by using Local Falcon. Some of you are familiar with it. Some of you have used it. It's super easy to use. Basically, you add your business, you give it a keyword, you give it a mile radius, and it'll show you what your visibility is on Google for a specific keyword. Well, they incorporated AI technology, and in this AI technology, it will tell you for this particular keyword, you may want to add this other GMB categories to get better rankings. So I love it. I use it all the time. Now that we got the top ranking factor fully completed and out of the way, let's target the next pillar in local SEO, which is relevance. Relevance simply means let your optimization be as close as possible to what the searcher is looking for, if not simply identical. So how does Google know that you're an electrician and you cover the area of Highland Park? You would think, well, duh, it's Google. Google knows. No, not really. It's how relevant your GMB and your website is in the eyes of Google. Now, let's break it down a little bit. We have niche relevance and we have geo relevance. For niche relevance, think of it this way. You want to convince Google that you provide all of the electrical services possible and you want to optimize for high volume keywords such as electrician near me, electrician Highland Park, Highland Park electrician, top rated electricians, best electricians near me. That type of those type of keywords belong to your niche relevance. And again, make sure that Google fully understand what it is that you do. So when the searcher is looking for house rewiring, then Google understands that you are the authority when it comes to house rewiring. For geo relevance is making very clear to Google that they should rank you not only in your closest proximity, but they should expand your area as well. So you got to optimize geographically and you have to optimize for your industry. That's what relevance is all about. For niche relevance in your GMB, you want to select the keywords that have the highest buy-in intent. And of course, the keywords that bring up a three-pack. I like using electrician, electrician near me, electrician in the city, the city and electrician, top-rated electrician. Those normally will bring up a three-pack and they have higher buy-in intent. I like to then use those keywords and optimize my Google business profile. And this is where I find it most helpful. I use, I optimize my products, my services, and my GMB posts. Let me show you how I do it in my inside products. If you click on products, this is, you're going to be able to add a product. Here's where I like to use my keywords. So in this case, we're going to be doing top rated electrician Highland Park. As far as the category, I repeat the keyword because it's actually the density of the keyword that is going to push the niche relevance. You don't have to worry about a price in your product description. You can be better descriptive about how you are the top rated electrician in Highland Park. You can run some content through ChatGPT or you can use some content from your website. As far as a product landing page, it allows you to link to the page that is most relevant for the term that you're trying to rank. So pick your URL carefully. As far as photos, see over here, on the left side, you're going to see your niche relevance, but over here on the uh, photo side, we're going to optimize for geo relevance. And we have been asking our clients to send us photos of their truck vehicles. And so this is what we do. We tell our client, look, you want to be known in uh, Highland Park, California. I want you to put your truck everywhere, put it next to buildings, next to schools, next to uh, commercial buildings, uh, next to uh, residential areas, and take a picture. So they send us those pictures. We geotag the pictures, and then we upload them along with the product. So now we are telling uh, Google and the customer that that's exactly the area we service, and that's the product 
or the service we provide. Having optimized for products, then we go to services, and here's where we optimize. We fully optimize for every single term, small, medium, or large, or long tail keyword for this particular niche. Lastly, we go to the GMB post, and in the GMB post, we want to create something very similar to what we did in the products. We want to emphasize with hot buying intent keywords and with a link back to the most relevant page. A good way of knowing if your SEO efforts are paying off is to look at your performance. Pick a month where you have not worked in your GMB. Apply. Now let's take a look at the insights. This is how many people viewed your business on Google. This is how many people saw your business and for what terms. So here, this client was not doing very well as far as keyword optimization. You can see none of these keywords actually do bring uh, uh, a Google three pack as per se. And if some of them do, they don't have enough volume. So anytime you see under 15 right here, it means that you're probably not getting calls. I mean, Google is not really suggesting you to anybody and Google is much like YouTube. So if you like a video and a lot of people like the video, uh, YouTube will recommend that video to the next person and to the next person and to the next 100 people, right? It's the same with the GMB. As soon as Google sees that your GMB is popular in the area and people are engaging with it and looking at the photos and maybe reading the post or looking at products, looking at services, and, and you can see that it, now it understands what it is that you do and, and the, ser the uh, area you serve, then it starts showing you to more potential clients. So much so, that you are able to change this into, let's pick another month where we work on this client. Take a look at this number. It, it may look like magic, but it's actually real. Now, this many people view the business online and this many people actually clicked on the business. And now you can see that uh, the terms are changing. Now, no wonder we rank so well for electri uh, electrician Highland Park and Highland Park electrician and top rated electrician because now we have it here inside of the GMB inside. So all of it works together. And so now we know that, uh, that this client is on its way to get more and more calls. Well, uh, this is part one. This is what we did month one. We are starting our campaign for month two. So I will give you an update on month two, what it is that we do to, well, not only keep on ranking for these terms, but rotate the terms, introduce new terms, and start breaking proximity and expand the area a little bit more. All right? If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Uh, thank you very much for being here. I hope this information is useful to you, to your business. And if you have any questions, or uh, leave a comment down below or shoot me over an email or text me. I'm going to leave my telephone number as well in the description down below. Have a blessed day. God bless you.